Hey gang, it's Brent. I hope you're all doing well. I have a quick video today where I want to talk about tripod heads and specifically a new head that's come into my possession in the last few weeks that I'm really kind of in love with. And I think it's the best head for me kind of ever when it comes to tripod heads. Um, so that's called the Platyball, but I'll get back to that in a second. Let me kind of give you my history with tripod heads and camera stands and things. And I reach over to the side. I am an old film photographer. I used RBs, I used Hasselblads. I used some giant thing like this. And how many of you remember the old hexagon plates? I know I do. And they were great. They were sturdy for what we were working with back in the time. And then Manfrotto switched over to those RC2 square plates like this. And I am lousy with these things, guys. I have a dozen tripods floating around and probably a half again that many different heads that all take this plate. I was never an Arca Swiss guy just because I moved from Manfrotto product to Manfrotto product. Or back then it was Bogan, again, because I'm old. But <clears throat> we've used these forever. And I think the Arca Swiss plate might be a better future for me. But that's only because of this new ball head that I've been using. And let me say, I've used the three axis heads and then I tried ball heads and I hate ball heads. I mean, really, I never liked them. I own a bunch of them, but I've never really enjoyed using them. I did prefer, they made these for a long time, these pistol grips. I'm a big fan of these because it's easy to adjust. You put it somewhere, it more or less stays in place when you let go of it until it gets old, until it gets weak, and then it starts to slide on its own. This was my favorite though. The vertical was perfect for the old Hasselblads because you didn't rotate it. It was a square. It never had to change. So this was perfect. It got me a little extra height on my tripod. Man, I loved everything about this plate. And then we moved to digital and our cameras all wanted to turn on their side, which was kind of a pain. And let me tell you, with this turning the camera on the side, that seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? So sadly, this falls out of use for us. We don't get to use that grip anymore, but there was something new that they came out with. And who doesn't love something new? They have the pistol grip again, but this time it flippies sideways. And this was great, or great-ish. Um, I have used it for a long time. Again, I have several of them. They're on most of my tripods that go out of the studio. They're clearly on my camera stands. And they're good. But again, you get things in place, eh, it's okay. It's a little bit of tedious with a 70 to 200 to have your hand over here and be moving things around but it's acceptable. And really, I didn't think there was a better option. I have talked about these many, many times, even in my advent calendar, I've recommended it a few times. So these are what I've been using for a long time until my buddy Skip, who is, I will disclose, the marketing director for Platyball and Platypod, put one of these in my hands at Imaging USA. And this, is something I really enjoy. This is a Platyball. And it's kind of the best of both worlds between a proper ball head and that old vertical pistol grip that I love so much. But what it lets you do is not only move your camera around with one hand like the old pistol grip did, once you're ready to stop, you push the button that tightens it up and this sucker doesn't move. It is locked down for real. So there's a top button and a bottom button and once you lock it in, you're locked in. It's not going anywhere. And I pushed that way more times than I needed to. I could have a 70 to 200 hanging off of this the wrong way without the collar. And it's still not going anywhere. Let me bring it back. But it lets you control the camera with one hand. You sight in, you're zooming, you're working with your subject, you're getting them just right. And then I push three times and I'm locked down. And now I'm shooting here, not looking through the camera, engaging with my subject. But what if I want to go horizontal? Well, I can. I can flip it on its side, just like that. Now, it stays square. There's a roller ring here that then lets me have tilt control. The thing that's different about the Platyball from your standard ball head is that it's built upside down. The rotator is at the top, not at the bottom. And I'm sure this is great for landscape photographers who are you know, working with an uneven tripod, one leg's low, one leg's high. Once you get everything set, your pan stays great. I don't do that. I'm a portrait guy. What I like it for is, if I'm on my side at a shoot, I can adjust this, tighten the wheel. 
Again, it is locked down for real, but if I have to adjust just a tiny little bit, I can adjust just a tiny little bit and lock it down again. Unlike a regular ball head where when you loosen it, everything goes loosey-goosey floppy everywhere, and it makes me hate things. So, with this, I gotta admit, I'm just a really big fan of it. The rotation is very smooth when you're turning, just like that, locks up, super tight, feels good in your hand. Again, lets you control the camera with one hand, and I'm usually using this with a 70 to 200 on it, but I wanted to show it to you this way. Yes, I know for the Arca Swiss people out there who are screaming, you could put an L plate on that, and then you can just turn the camera on its side instead of flipping the thing all the way over. You're right. I'm not there yet. I was living in this world for a very, very long time. So I still think that way a little bit. But as I grow into this product a little bit, I think I really like it. I'm very happy with, again, the little bit of height that it grants me, the relaxing of the ball head, so it's loose but not flop over loose. Again, I am controlling the camera entirely with one hand here, and then three presses and I'm locked in which means I'm working with my subject more than I'm working with my ball head. And I think that's absolutely invaluable. So anyway, I don't want this to be a total commercial. It's a little bit of a commercial. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the website, I guess you'll see my picture as one of the Platypod Pros now. Um, that doesn't mean that I get a kickback. And honestly, that doesn't mean I talk about this product because I am getting any kind of recompense for it. I'm not. Um, I was given this ball head. I will say that. The three that I'm about to buy to <laughs> replace these on my others are all coming out of my own pocket. And that's where I want to talk to everybody about. This is the Ergo. There's two of these. There's the red one and the gray one. I like the gray one. I'm a portrait guy. I don't need a built-in level. It's just not part of what I'm looking for. But this is a great tool. And like I said, the marketing director is a good friend of mine, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to shill anything that he says. I am using this product. I've been using it since Imaging USA. I'm really in love with it. I think it's great, and I think you'll like it too. And if you don't, your choice. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.